Hello dear friends. So today I am back again with the topic of discussion, very important topic in harmonica playing that is tonguing and octave playing. So I will be taking both these topics one by one with small demonstrations. So first let me, let me uh, describe a very important aspect in harmonica playing that is tonguing. So first thing is why do we do tonguing? So basically tonguing is used to give the chords along with the single note playing. So how do we give the chords? So this is a very simple basic phenomena that in any harmonica, here I have shown one full octave. If you cover the three holes with your tongue and you play the extreme right hole and at the same time during your playing, you cover and uncover these three holes with your tongue, slap them with your tongue, then there is a very beautiful uh, chord effect, which is similar to the chords played on this accordion. So that particular phenomenon is called tonguing. So the tonguing sounds very good in many songs, but there is a very famous saying about music that it says that a good musician knows when to play but a great musician knows when not to play. So same is the case with tonguing. Uh, you must be very particular about playing a, playing the tonguing in a song. Specifically, now if you see the draw and blow pattern, during the uh, blow notes, if you play blow notes, then you will obtain C major note in normal C scale harmonica and same way, if you play three, if you draw three or four notes simultaneously, you will get the D minor note. So in case of tonguing, if you are playing in a key other than C, then it may sound very odd and sometimes it may spoil your song. So you have to be careful while you are doing tonguing in any song. So in this normal C scale harmonica, the chords in blow, you get C major and the chord and draw you get D minor. So I will just demonstrate how to do the tonguing, the very basic exercise of tonguing. So it goes like this. I will be playing Sare Gama Pada Nisa. So it's like this. placing the tongue on the left side you just play the chords along the song now let's discuss this octave playing now as it is clear from the name itself in octave you block the three holes in between two similar notes the two same notes one of the higher octave other one of the lower octave so in between the three holes by covering them with your tongue you are able to uh, blow or draw the two notes of same notes of two different octaves simultaneously. So that also produces a very beautiful effect especially when you are playing a song you can play the lyrics by using the single notes and the intermediate interludes or preludes you can play with the help of octave playing. So again I will be demonstrating one very simple example of Sare Gama it goes like this. Just by covering the in between holes between the two similar notes with the help of your tongue, you can produce this beautiful effect of octave playing. Now you have to be careful while playing octave that the tuning of the similar notes that must be perfect. If the if 
one of the notes is out of tune then it will sound very bad so this is just a brief idea about the tonguing and octave playing i hope uh, i have i have been uh, i am able to clear my point on octave and tonguing so i will be there with my next video very soon thank you